Hi everyone, bienvenidos. Welcome to Bilingual Song and Story Time. My name is Miss Camille. Me llamo Señorita Camila. And today I have another story for y'all. But first we're going to start like we always do with our key words, which are just some important words that you're going to hear in the story later. Vamos a empezar con unas palabras claves que ustedes van a oír en la historia más tarde. Entonces empezamos con... La primera palabra, the first word, and remember to repeat these back as you hear them, the English and the Spanish. Our first one is to fish. To fish. This one is an action. It's something you do. Y en español es pescar. To fish es pescar. La segunda palabra, the second word, is to row. This word is not actually uh, specifically in the story, but it is in the song that we're going to sing later, and it's kind of related to the story. In español es remar. To row es remar. La tercera palabra, the third word, is cat. The uh, main characters of the story are actually cats. Uh, los personajes de la historia son gatos. Cat is el gato. Y la próxima palabra es boat. Boat is our next word. Y en español es el bote. The boat es el bote en español. And our last word, la última palabra, es fish. So we had two fish like the verb, and now we just have fish as in the noun, just the, the animal. Y en español es el pez. Fish is el pez. So just remember these words and during the story, see if you can think back and remember uh, the Spanish word when you hear the English word. And without further ado, I'm going to show y'all the story for today, which is called Kitten Fish. So I hope y'all enjoy it. One warm Saturday morning, Tabby and her mom took their little boat out to go fishing. Tabby wore her best water shoes and a big floppy hat to protect her face from the sun. She had never been fishing before, but her mom would show her the ropes. As they drifted peacefully in the water, Tabby's mom got out a little box. Are those the grasshoppers we caught yesterday? Tabby asked. Yes, her mom said. These little guys are so tasty, the fish won't be able to resist them. Next, Tabby's mom got out some thin hooks. We'll put the grasshoppers on our fishing hooks. Make sure you cover as much of the hook as you can so the fish only see the tasty grasshopper. They cast their hooks into the water and the waiting began. After they had been sitting in silence for a couple of minutes, Tabby said, where are all of the fish? Why is this taking so long? Her mom replied, fishing isn't quick. Sometimes you have to really be patient. I don't mind it though. I like sitting here on our little boat together, don't you? Tabby nodded, but she kept her concentration, her eyes fixed intensely on her bobber out in the water. Out of the corner of her eye, Tabby saw her mom's bobber start to dip up and down just slightly. Mom, you've got a fish, start reeling it in, Tabby insisted. Her mom waited another minute for when the bobber went under the water's surface, and mm -hmm. then she started reeling it in. When the fish finally arrived at the boat and Tabby's mom pulled it out of the water, Tabby was clapping and cheering for her. Wow, mom, you got one. Why do you wait so long to start reeling it in? It's like I told you, kitten, her mom said. You have to be patient. Sometimes when the bobber dips, it's just a fish taking a little taste. You have to wait until they take a big bite. The fish Tabby's mom had caught was just a little perch. Any fish was exciting to Tabby, but they let him go and tried again. Tabby got a nibble after a few minutes, but she pulled back on her fishing pole too soon and scared the fish away. She was really frustrated, especially since her mom kept pulling in fish so easily. Her mom showed her every fish she caught so she could identify them too. She pointed out the brown bars on a perch and the pretty blue-green scales on a sunfish. After a while, Tabby's mom suggested they change out their thin hooks for some larger, thicker hooks. We've had our warm-up, now let's try to catch something bigger. But I haven't caught anything yet, mom. Tabby looked defeated. Helping her bait her hook, 
Her mom told her, I know, kitten, but I think if you stick with it, you'll catch something. Within a few minutes of casting their bigger hooks, Tabby's mom was hauling in a largemouth bass. She heaved up the fish, which looked giant compared to the little fish from before. This guy is the king of the pond, the top predator in the water, Tabby's mom said. When she started to place the bass back in the water, Tabby said, Wait, mom, don't you want to take him home? Her mom replied, I don't know, Tabby. I have a feeling we can do better, as the bass slipped from her hands and swam away. Tabby was getting used to having to wait for the fish to bite, and she actually felt really relaxed. When her bobber finally started to dance on the water's surface, she held her fishing pole a little tighter and said, Mom, I got something. She waited until the bobber went under and pulled as hard as she could. This fish was pretty heavy. Her mom had to help her pull the fish out of the water. Beaming at her daughter, Tabby's mom said, Look at my kitten fish. Tabby replied, No, mom, it's a catfish. Tabby's mom laughed and held up her daughter's impressive catch, a beautiful catfish fit for Saturday night dinner. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed today's story and now we're just gonna recap it a little bit and then we're of course going to sing a couple of songs together. So today's story was about a little kitten named uh, Tabby who went fishing with her mom. And if, you, if you've ever fished or if you remember learning how to fish, uh, you might remember that it can be kind of difficult at first because you have to be really patient. You have to kind of sit there and wait um, and you, you don't get that instant satisfaction with what you're doing when you're first learning. You have to practice it for a little while until you get good at it. But at the end of the story, it obviously turns out to be worth it for Tabby because she catches a really big fish. Uh, which just shows that even if you have to put a little bit of work into something, it can be worth it to get really good at something new. La historia de hoy se trataba de una gatita que va a pescar con su madre. Y para ella es difícil uh, aprender a pescar porque tiene que ser muy paciente y tiene que esperar uh, mucho. Y, pero al final vale la pena aprender algo nuevo porque pesca un pez muy grande. Uh, y eso es para mostrar que aprender a hacer algo nuevo puede ser difícil, pero vale la pena. So uh, the song that we're going to sing today, y'all actually might have been able to guess because I mentioned that one of our words, to row, remar, was not in the story but was in the song. So it is row, row, row your boat, which I'm sure everybody probably knows, but if you don't remember the lyrics, they are in the caption above. And so we are going to sing it in English twice through and then in Spanish twice through. Vamos a cantar la canción en español dos veces y en inglés dos veces. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, obviously, as usual, feel free to sing along with me. Use the lyrics in the caption if you need them. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. All right, so the Spanish version is a little bit different. Instead of rowing the boat merrily, we're rowing the boat rápido. We're rowing it quickly. <laughs> so just that's just one of, one of the examples of a difference between uh, the English version and the Spanish version of the song. Entonces, uh, dos veces en español. Vamos a remar en un botecito. Rápido, 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 rápido en un botecito. Vamos a remar en un botecito. Rápido, 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 rápido en un botecito. All right, thank y'all so much for singing that with me. And now before we go, we're gonna do our goodbye song. So I can't believe we're almost done, but we are gonna sing one more song together. And y'all probably remember this one if you've watched the, the other ones of the videos, but it is a call and response song. Entonces ustedes van a repetir lo que canto. So I'm gonna sing a line and you will sing that line back to me. And then I'll sing the next line, you'll sing it back and so on. 
and this is how we're gonna say goodbye for the day. Adios amigos. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope y'all had a good time. This has been Bilingual Song and Story Time. I do have a different program next month. So this was the last Bilingual Song and Story Time. Uh, but next month is actually going to be featured museum tours. And I'm gonna show you kind of the online virtual tours for museums all over the world. So make sure you check back same time, same place, Fridays at 11 uh, on the Grand Prairie Library's Facebook page so you can enjoy that program as well. And that is for all ages. So like I said, I hope I see y'all soon and have a great rest of your day.